Welcome to this episode of Grassroots Advocacy. If you haven't had the opportunity, I invite you to go back and preview all of the previous episodes of GRA, of Grassroots Advocacy. There's a lot of great information in there about how to serve as the voice for our nation's frail, elder, and disabled citizens, for your peers, certified nursing assistants, licensed nursing assistants, or whatever title is used in your particular state, and then also for the post-acute and long-term care system as a whole. Really great stuff. Over the last couple of episodes, we've had the opportunity to be joined by two phenomenal CNA leaders, Mr. Wendell Anderson, Chairman of the Board of Directors for the National Association of Healthcare Assistants from the great state of Arizona, and Ms. Tina Roberts from the great state of Tennessee. Go Vols! In this episode, we're really going to be wrapping up the, the formal conversation about grassroots advocacy. Now, that isn't um, the end of the story. Uh, we are going to actually, actually be merging grassroots advocacy into the Advocat system, um, which we covered a couple of episodes ago when we had the opportunity to have our good friend, Mr. Dane Henning, with us. <laughs> And because what Advocat is, is seeking to do and what GRA, Grassroots Advocacy, intended to do are so closely in line, it just makes sense to merge the two opportunities into one. Now, as we're wrapping up Grassroots Advocacy in this setting, I just want to say a couple of things. As I have mentioned, I get the opportunity to meet lots of wonderful nursing assistants and caregivers across the United States. And I oftentimes hear folks say that nobody listens to me. Nobody cares what I think. Regrettably, in some instances, that's true. I would submit this. I'd ask you to think about this, though. If you stop speaking up, isn't it a fact that then, then they will not hear you definitely? I want to encourage you to continue to speak up when you believe that something needs to be done differently so that the women and men you care for get a better quality of life and quality of health. I want you to really speak up. Speak with passion. Speak with conviction. Speak based on knowledge and experience. Define what the best can be and, and move in that direction. When it comes to your profession, you could be the person in the Walmart Supercenter or at any other place who says, I'm just a CNA. Or you could be the person that says, when asked, what do you do? I serve our nation's frail and elder citizens. I make a difference on a daily basis. So you can advocate for your profession. When people say, oh, I wouldn't want to put my worst enemy in a nursing home, you can say, you know, there are some nursing centers that are not as, as great as you would like them to be, but in my nursing center, we are the bomb. We do a great job of meeting the needs of the people who reside in the post-acute and long-term care environment. And we serve, we meet a, a needed... Um, we meet a need, a need in our society, and we're thankful to be able to do that. So you have the opportunity to serve as a voice. Now, I, as I, I wrap up today, there are two other items that I'd like to suggest to you. The next item that I'd like to suggest to you is that it's really very important for us to take action. When I was growing up, I remember being in church, and... There was a song that we used to sing um, frequently called Let There Be Peace on Earth. And one of the great lines in that song that I will always remember is, and let it begin with me. And that is because nothing happens that we don't make happen, that we don't try to promote. We try to promote peace in our world. We try to promote love and care and compassion. So I want to encourage you to think about that in the context of your motivation for serving as a voice. And the final thing that I'd like to ask you to think about is this. 
we all have a vision of what tomorrow can be. And I encourage you as advocates to think about that vision of what tomorrow can be and then to use your influence, your experience, your knowledge, your passion to bring that to reality, that vision of tomorrow to reality. I want to conclude um, this final episode of Grassroots Advocacy with one of my most favorite quotes from one of my most favorite presidents. John Fitzgerald Kennedy said, Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I would like to modify that a little bit. Ask not what long-term care can do for you. Ask what you can do for your elders and then make it happen. Thank you for sharing your time with me on Grassroots Advocacy. And I wish you the very, very best.